Hi everybody, it's Buzz Father and I'm here with the daily astrology forecast for September 1st, 2016. A day of a new moon in Virgo, which is also a total solar eclipse in 9 degrees Virgo, affecting especially people who are born in the beginning of Virgo, beginning of Pisces, beginning of Gemini, or beginning of Sagittarius. Check your own natal charts and see what kind of planets you have over there to see how it touches you personally. This is a very active degree. It's a, it's a degree that had a lot of transits this year, squaring it or on it, and will be also eclipsed next year in February. This is a very powerful and, and, and critical year for people with a lot of planets or, or important planets in these degrees. So, the sun, the eclipsed sun, is going on the north node squaring Saturn and Mars opposing Neptune and also sextiling Juno what does it all say it says that this is the time that we are supposed to shine go on with whatever it is you believe in with what wherever your heart is keep on doing it even though it might be very stressful at the moment even though people can be in strife or or very much challenged believe that things would work out in the best way possible and go on one baby step at a time don't lend your hand to negativity don't let the stress and frustration bend you down and and put you on the floor and how we can deal with it better by bundling up together we're stronger together and this is the time to be with the people you love and feel most familiar with this is the time to strengthen the people around you. This is the time to let others nourish you and as you nourish them as well. Don't separate yourself from your community, from your tribe at the moment. And we can all deal with these challenges much better that way. Add to that stressful time, to this stressful time in the heavens, when the sun is squaring Mars and Saturn and opposing Pluto telling us hey we want to shine we want to do our own thing we want our life to really change in the best positive way but we we are constricted by the limitations imposed by reality we are not working Saturn we are not working in a void in a vacuum Neptune we are working in reality, Saturn. There are rules and limitations that we need to abide by. This is not heaven anymore, Neptune. We cannot be, I, uh, um, we, we, we cannot be naive. We cannot hope that what, if we remain passive, things would continue to be provided to us as if we can just reach out to the tree above us and pluck from it anything that we need. No, this is not a time for passivity. This is not a time for naivety. This is not a time for childlike innocence. And this is not a time for fears and anxiety. This is a time to keep on working with what you have. Of insisting to doing it your own way. And doing it with all your heart. And of course, doing it softer and more sensitive than usual and not being cold-hearted but really people who nourish and care for their community and that get that love and support back from their community. Add to that fact that all this constellation in the sky, dramatic constellation in the sky, that Mercury is in one of its strongest retrogrades in a while, discombobulating our communicative systems, our thought patterns, the way we navigate through life, our electric appliances. And you've got a time that you've got to be extra careful in. You've got a time that you must thread lightly and also be very careful on the roads in the next few days. So this is a time not to stop doing your own thing, but to do it carefully fully full of care 
and, and believe in the positive and believe it will work out. So I hope you're going to have a very positive next 24 hours. And I want to tell you that on Friday, 12 noon time, uh, Israel Daylight Saving Time, that's 11 a.m. Central European Time, I'm going to go on live in Facebook. And I hope you're going to be there with me because I'm going to uh, answer all your questions regarding evolutionary astrology for free. And I'd love to hear from you. That's 1100 hours Central European time this Friday. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.